next speaker is State Treasurer Eric Smith, soon to be Attorney General Eric Smith. His roots in Missouri run deep, six generations of farmers, teachers, and small business people who have lived and worked in the Missouri cities of Tipton, Pilot Grove, Louisiana, and St. Louis. As State Treasurer, Eric fo focused on protecting Missouri taxpayers, supporting small businesses, and empowering individuals and families while overseeing the state's $3.6 billion investment portfolio. We've enjoyed working with Eric as State Treasurer and look forward to working with him in his new role as State's Attorney General, a position to which Governor Parsons recently appointed him and which he will assume in the coming year as Josh Hawley moves on to the U.S. Senate. Eric and his wife, Jamie, have three children, Stephen, Sophia, and Olivia. He's a tremendous St. Louis Cardinals fan. Please help me welcome soon-to-be Attorney General Eric Smith. Much. Uh, I noticed that the, uh, the slide behind me, the word was gratitude, and uh, I am certainly very grateful uh, for the opportunity to serve uh, the state that I love. And as Blake mentioned, as a sixth generation Missourian, um, it's an incredible honor. Uh, to give you a little bit of flavor, I guess, of my background, as Blake mentioned, um, my family came over from Germany, like so many families in Missouri, uh, six generations ago through the Port of New Orleans. They came up the Mississippi and the Missouri, uh, stopped off in Boonville, and settled in places like Tipton and Pilot Grove for generations, and were farmers there. And my grandfather uh, went off to World War II, was in the 7th Army, saw a lot of combat, was an infantryman, um, came back and started a butcher shop. He had an 8th grade education, and, uh, but he had a dream to own his own business, to be his own boss, as he Put it, although he discovered that all those customers actually were his boss and told him what to do every day. But, um, but that's my history. It's, it's, it's one, and my dad went on to uh, work seven days a week in the midnight shift. I was the first person in my family uh, to go off to college out of high school and certainly the first person to go to law school. And I love the law, and primarily because I saw it as a way of fighting for people and a way of life and values. And so to be coming into this role as your attorney general is, uh, is really an honor of a lifetime. I've had a, um, a great opportunity to serve with, uh, with current Governor Mike Parson in the state senate. We served together. Uh, he is just a tremendous advocate for all things agriculture. And to have his faith and confidence in this new role is something that uh, I am grateful for and thankful for. And as I'm transitioning from the treasurer's office, um, I'll mention one thing about what we've been able to do in the treasurer's office that I'm particularly proud of. When we came in, uh, you guys may remember a program that was referred to by Wendell Bailey a long time ago as Mobux, uh, when he was state treasurer, uh, and then it was referred to as Link Deposit. When we came into office, that program was pretty beleaguered. Um, it had under $200 million invested, and that is a low interest loan program for small business and agriculture. And we've been able to double those investments in just a year and a half. We launched Missouri First, earlier this year along with so many members of the Farm Bureau and we've seen ag investments go up 136 percent and those are real dollars in real farms and real ranches all across the state so it's a real focus we've had on Missouri agriculture in that office and I want to take that same focus uh, to the Attorney General's office and I'm really uh, delighted we, we announced our transition team with a lot of familiar faces that you might recognize last week but one of course that you guys know very well is Blake Hurst and so he is, uh, um, has a seat at that table to make sure we're hearing exactly what those issues are um, that you guys are dealing with every single day. Brian Munzlinger, who I served with in the state senate as the long, I think a, an eight-year ag chairman, he is also on that transition committee. Attorneys general um, increasingly are playing a more significant role in those issues. And we know that from the waters of the U.S. litigation that's been ongoing. And there are a lot of folks across the country who don't share our same values as it relates to the importance of agriculture. The waters of the U.S. is one um, sort of fight. There are many to come. And I want you guys to know that uh, I will stand shoulder to shoulder with you to protect that way of life, to protect Missouri's number one industry, and make sure we're fighting for the things that we believe in. So thank you for the opportunity to be here. It is an honor to serve you as your state treasurer now and soon to be attorney general, and I hope you guys have a great rest of the conference. Thank you very much. Thank you. 